Lesson two. Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Andressa, and this is the series that's all about business phone calls. Today's lesson is how to lead a business conversation when talking on the phone. Nowadays, a lot of people prefer emails and text messages to phone calls for work-related communication. Why? Making business call can feel a bit nerve-wracking. While it might be more convenient to contact someone via digital technologies, the phone is still a more personal way of carrying on a business conversation. Nothing can replace the sound of a human voice, right? So, to help you make your business calls as effective as possible, we created a list of basic steps and phone etiquette tips. Let's check out! Step 1. Prepare for a call. What is the first thing you should do before making a business phone call? Take a moment to prepare. Here are some steps to do this effectively. First, identify the reason you are calling. Knowing the purpose of your business phone call will prevent you from being nervous about speaking with someone you barely know. Do you want to sell something, ask for help, or get some information? Think for a minute about the goal you want to achieve with this call. Second, write down the key points you need to cover. To keep your call on track, Prepare some notes about things you want to discuss during the conversation as well as any questions you need to ask. A couple of bullet points can also help you feel more confident and maintain control of the conversation. Third, prepare the required supporting information. Be close to a device with the internet so that you can search for any extra data quickly. Step 2. Introduce yourself. When making outbound calls, say hello and introduce yourself to the person on the other end of the line. To follow professional phone etiquette, start with your first name, as well as your last name, title or company's name if required. For example, hello. My name is Andressa and I'm calling from 123 Company. It is polite to start a conversation with small talk, especially if you know the person well. But don't be too chatty. Remember that you have limited time on the call. So stay focused on the specific purpose of the conversation and get right to the point. If you don't know the person, Exchange pleasantries, like a brief, how are you doing? Or, I hope you are doing well today. Step 3. State the main reason for your call. After the professional phone greeting, state the purpose of your call politely and directly. For instance, I received your email yesterday, so I'm calling to follow up. Or, I'm calling from one to three company. I would like to speak with you about your recent purchase. Explaining the reason for your calls provides focus and direction to the conversation. Besides, this will help you keep the person's attention and show that you are prepared for the talk. Wow. Keep a steady pace and speak without a lot of pauses and filler words such as um and uh okay four listen actively without interrupting while you might strive to achieve the main purpose of your business phone call make sure that you carry on a two-way conversation rather than a monologue give the person you are talking time to respond and ask any questions they might have. 
Listen attentively and use verbal nods like Uh huh. Sounds interesting. Good. I understand. That's right. Can you please tell me more about it? Step 5. Practice your business phone etiquette. It is so easy to get worried when you have to make an important call. But if you allow your anxiety to overtake your emotions, you won't succeed in business communication. First of all, make sure to stay calm and speak clearly. Choose your words carefully, avoiding slangs and jargon. To speak on the phone in a professional business manner, pay particular attention to your tone of voice. Speak in a normal tone or a bit higher. Keep it natural, positive and inviting. And of course, try to pronounce words clearly and minimize your accent. If you need to put the person on hold, ask them for permission to do so and then explain the reason why. Well, you can say something like name of the person and then it is okay if I put you on hold for a few seconds while I check with and then the other person's name about this issue. To follow phone etiquette at work, Never leave someone on hold for more than 30 seconds and always check back in after 15 seconds. When you finally get back to call, thank the other person for waiting. If it is going to be a long hold, make it clear to them that you don't want to waste their time on hold and promise to call them back. If you have to put someone on the speakerphone, let them know you are about to do so. So, and mention who else is near you. Step 6. Give thanks. Politely will never be old-fashioned. End your call by thanking the person for their time. Saying, thank you so much for having talking to me. Have a good day. Or, Thank you so much for talking to me on the phone. Have a good day. As you can see, from a business perspective, a failed telephone conversation can cost you productivity, time, and even money. If you want your calls to bring good results, you should prepare for each of them. Try to keep the conversations as light and positive as possible. And don't forget about business telephone etiquette. With more confidence and a little practice, you will have no problem leading a business conversation, whether you are talking to a customer, business partner, or colleague. That's it for today. In the next lesson, I'll teach you the using standard telephone phrases. Thank you so much for watching this video. I see you on the next one. Bye, guys!